Are so, we recording? Yes, we are recording. Oh. So welcome to, to Rhonda, who's from the, now the name of your Country Rose Country. Studio. Country Rose Studio in Time Wall Lane in Coonabarabra. Yes. And Rhonda's my first guest. <laughs> Hi, everybody. So, um, I thought I'd come down and have a chat with Vivian today. I just wanted to teach you guys how to make candles. Um, everyone comes in the shop and they say they love the smell of them. And um, we've got like, we've got about 10 cents down there as well as a lot of extras, you know, your basic musk and anything else that um, anyone asks for, I can get in. But I thought today I might give you a demo. You might like to try and make a candle at home. It's not really difficult. I've heard people go, oh, you know, it's too much. You've got to watch the temperatures, etc. which you do, but that's all you have to do. So it's really easy. I'm going to show you an easy way how to do it. Awesome. So, so I've never done this before. So it's exciting. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. So... We, we will make one in a teacup um, a little later on another another little episode. Okay. We're about to make one in there. But for today, we're just doing a demo where we've got just a standard candle glass container that I sell in the shop. They're $3.95 each and they've got a nice little lid that pops on and mm -hmm. seals it. So um, Does that help preserve the, the life of the candle? Yeah, I guess it holds the, the scent in yeah. um, yes. because the scent can just evaporate. Mm. And speaking about the scent, what I like to do often is I'll make a candle, I'll pop it in my linen press, or I'll get a melt and put it in one of those little um, type little, um, what are they called? They're little gift bags. I um, can't think of the fabric that they're made oh, out of. You know, from yeah, Sam's, you yes. know, those little pulley yes, string little bags. Yes, nylon ones you put jewellery yeah. in or is something like that. Is it nylon? Is it? Um, um, yeah. I don't remember the fabric yeah, anyway, it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah. So you can pop it in a little, just a little bag or something and put it all just Gauze. like it is. In, yeah, it's, it's into, um, <laughs> it'll come Someone to Someone might answer in the chat. <laughs> yes, it'll come to me, don't worry, I'm sure it will. Um, and I'm a sewer, which is a bit embarrassing. I can't remember the name of the fabric. Organza. Organza. Thank you. Yes. Okay. I used to use that. Oh, well, you can you move to go? I know. <laughs> is, there anything, is there anything that you haven't done? Uh, probably lots. <laughs> okay. So this is our candle. Now, this one is 200 mils. Mm -hmm. So we just know that's 200 mils. But you can make a candle in anything that's glass. You could make a candle in a normal drinking glass container, a uh, into a teacup into well, anything really as long as it's glass or metal. All right, so a mug would work? Yeah, coffee mug would work. Okay, so yeah. we're cheating and drinking it coffee mug. Yeah, we could use Vivian Evans' <laughs> coffee mug. That's it, so I could have candles so I could give away with my logo. Yeah, you could. Um, anything glass, but I have been caught out before where I've had a product that was more a resin than a glass, ah. and it's not good to use. Right. So you just so want to make sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I, well, the story is I put it in my microwave and it caught on fire. Ooh, so we need to be very, very careful with candles and you just don't um, go there unless it's glass or metal. Yeah. Right. Okay? right. So that, that's the general rule that I use. So basically to make your candle, all you need is your little container, as we've spoken about. You need a wick. Now, wicks come in various sizes. So if you have a look at the PowerPoint, there'll be a guide on the PowerPoint yes. that'll tell you. So when we talk about diameter, we're talking about this area here across mm -hmm. the top of here. So if the diameter is larger than nine centimetres across the top here, we will possibly want to put two wicks in, one on either side, one to the left and one on okay. the right. Okay, so say you had some sort of large... Yeah, because you can get lots of low, wide yes. dishes that are yes. nice for candles as well. So mm -hmm. a lot of, um, I mean, I, you, you could use crystal. People will go, oh, I'm not going to put a candle in my crystal. Others might go, I'd love to put a candle in my crystal. So yeah. it just depends. But And you could reuse... The glass mm. later, couldn't you? So, you know, you could, you know, like this teacup, it's been repurposed. It did actually hold succulents yeah. for a while. So then I've washed it up and now it's going to turn into a candle. So when you finish... You can wash it up again. You could wash, wash it up and it's back in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, or we end up drinking it and we think it's safe enough. It's yeah. Enough. The, the thing <laughs> with um, soy wax is it dissolves in hot water. Yeah. So usually what I will do is wipe the container out as much as I can with a um, paper towel yeah. and get as much of it out and then I wash it up in soapy water. It's mm. good to go again. Mm. So all into recycling, love to recycle. Yes. So here I have in my hand a wick here and it's got a little metal base and this is actually coated with wax uh -huh. and that's why it's stiff. In my other hand I have... Um, a pad, a little round pad, which is a sticky pad. But I'm just going to take one of these off. 
and sort pop of it like on the du bottom. Double sided sticky. Yeah, yeah. it's double sided yeah. sticky. It's a circle, as you can see, mm. and it's made for candles mm. and candle wicks. But you could use any type of double sided tape if you had some craft tape inside. Yes. You could just cut a little square off and put a square on. It doesn't have to be round. Yeah. The purpose of it is to hold in the bottom of the container so to hold move. the wick. Yeah. yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my container, turn it upside down, and put my wick into the middle. So I just oh, choose the middle from the bottom. Yeah. Then I'm going to take myself a paddle pop stick or an ice cream stick that I've managed to drill holes through. Yeah. yeah. So now what they do is they support the wick in the middle of the container. Uh -huh. So it's very simple because what happens is you can see now I've got the stick and I've got the wick and the wick is stuck into the bottom of the container there. Yes. So what happens when you pour the hot wax over the top of that, this because it's coated with wax, it'll tend to melt and go a bit floppy. Right. So what this does is just stabilise ah. it and keeps it into the middle of the candle. Yeah. And I suppose, could you hold it if you needed to? Yeah, you could, or you yeah. could bend it over. I have a tendency just to do this oh, yeah. because it's candle wax and it's, I just it's do that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I just sort of leave it there. And, and, and when you get your wax in, you'll be able to move it because it'll be a bit softer. Yes. Um, sometimes I don't like to go exact in the middle. So... Yeah, so this is what we've ended up with. We've got um, the candle wick, the stick, and it's inside the container. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So everybody can see. Yeah. So now that's ready to pour. Hmm. Now, there are some calculations in the... Okay, so this is a 200ml container. How do I know how much wax I need? To fill that. Yeah, particularly when you've got all these odd shapes. Yeah, so it them. depends on the mils of the container. So this one is 200 mils. So the formula is to take your 200 mils and multiply it out by 0.85. So when you look at the PowerPoint that it come, comes with our video here, you'll be able to have the formula. And so you'll work it out. And I don't have a calculator with me right oh, now. Oh, we have a phone. Okay. I'm going to grab it. We'll just work out what 200 yeah. mils works out in wax. We're doing quite a bit of mathematics. I used to be a numeracy teacher as well, Rhonda. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Adult literacy and numeracy. And um, we've got diameter. We're now yeah. working out things happen yeah. <laughs> in everyday life. It sounds typical. Oh, you've got it. 200 multiplied by 0.85 equals 170 grams of wax. So we right. will take 170 grams of and, wax. And that's this, yeah. This so here. so, so you then need a little scales. Yeah, yeah you do. Um, you know, usually what I do is I, I use a trick, but I'll just show you here. It's um, just like it, if you can see that, it's just... Sort of like that. flakes of soap almost. Yeah, it's yeah. just flaky. Yeah. Um, and that's how you buy soy wax. This is soy wax, which is 100% natural off the soybean. And it evaporates into the air. And what it does is um, your candle will eventually be empty. Yes. So it that's evaporates it. away. It's not like paraffin wax where it melts and it goes all gonky and et cetera. So, right. Um, so it's good to know, yeah, it has yeah. specialised types yes. of wax. So it doesn't set in form by itself. That's why it needs to be inside a container. So soy wax will melt down to a liquid. Right. So soy wax is great for melts, you know, in the top of like your, um, a lot of people use um, Scentsy burners yes. and things like that. So yes. you could melt one of my, my soy melts into that. What I usually do is I make a batch of wax and I, if I have any left over, I will make a, uh, a melt. So, uh -huh. so you have now I've just got this little... This is just oh, a little cute. example of a, but you know, we're looking for something that's very sort of soft and, and yeah, malleable so yeah. that we can actually just pop out the... They're, they're sort of made for cooking. Um, yeah, they are. They're, they're, they're for eat. chocolates or, I mean, a tiny little thing like that. I don't think you'd make a muffin, but it looks like a, a cake. It looks like, yeah, yeah, yeah it looks like a cake on the bottom. Um, that's one. I'll show you hmm. another example of the one I use in the shop, which is a little larger. So that's that version oh, there. Yeah, yeah. Got yeah. But once again, it's um, <laughs> soft, pops out, so we can pop our melts out. Yeah. So when I make it, if I make too much in my jug, I just use it and make melts as well. Have some spare. Yeah. Awesome. So, now to get started, this is our jug that we use for candle making. You can see it's got a special spout that just right. makes it easy to pour ah, yes. into your container. So other jugs tend to stop around 
the top here. Yes. And, you know, they've got a wide yeah. mouth, mouth on them. And then it tends to sort of yeah. come out yeah, over the side. Yeah, pour out. Where this one is um, available in the shop as well. Mm-hmm. And you just pour it into your container like that. So for me, because I'm a commercial candle maker, I actually have a burner, a pot that actually melts all my wax in it. And I go across, it has a tap on it, and I just fill up so many mills. Yes. So for me, I don't actually weigh out my wax. Right. Uh, but for someone at home that wanted to just make a few candles, yes. you know, I've got a bag of 500 grams of wax. Mm-hmm. So it's, you know, $7.95. So, yeah. I mean, it's easy enough to make your own candles. Yes. And so, then if you have that, these little things on the side, you can then... Yeah, yeah, when I do my candle making classes, I have a number of those as well. People can just make melts mm-hmm. or tea lights, you know, just yes. so we... Don't waste the wax and just pull out more containers yeah, and just keep yeah. pulling. So those little tea lights that you get, you could actually reuse. Yeah, you can. Reuse those yeah, little metal yeah. containers. Yeah, well, mine are actually plastic. I'll bring one along okay. and show you. Um, yeah. they're, they're tiny little plastic and they're washable. That's right. right. Just take right. the tiny little wig out. Yes. Wash them up. Yeah. Let's go again. Yeah. So, all right. So for now, we're going to actually get ourselves a bit of candle wax. Okay. Okay. So I've been across to our oil pot our soybean pot and I've actually got now 300 mils in my jug I've got a little bit extra and we'll we'll make some melts with that but what I'm doing now is just waiting for that temperature to go down so I've got a thermometer here and it's now very close to 100 degrees we want to let that cool down to about 55 degrees celsius so we'll just let that go and we'll come back to you in a moment but um we want some questions in terms of Pot safety don't because you've got like a it's like a lovely slow cooker almost, isn't it? Yeah. With a tap on the side. Yeah. But if you haven't got that equipment and you're just doing a once off, what sort of containers could be used to melt? Well, you would melt the wax the same way you would melt chocolate. So what you would do is actually put um, a pot of boiling water on the stove, mm-hmm. and you could get a metal dish, or you could even use that one if you were careful, um, and pop it into the water with your wax in it. And, and melt it just as you would chocolate, being careful not to put any water into the wax, just as you uh, would with chocolate, not yes, to put any water yes. into the chocolate. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so basically we want it to look like this, completely melted. And, um, yeah, so across, mm-hmm. across a pot of boiling water and just keep mixing until it melts down. And um, So does it have to sort of reach a higher temperature to melt properly to yeah, then come back down? normally it will reach around 100 or slightly over at melting point. Yeah. yeah. And it didn't look like it was bubbling or anything like that because it no. just sort of come, melts. Yeah, 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 just melts. So mm. whilst we're waiting for that to cool down, we can actually add some colour into it. And today what I've brought is a liquid colour. If I hold that, will that help? Yeah, that will help, definitely. So what I've got here is a liquid colour and I've, brought along magenta, which is a bright pink. Mm -hmm. Um, Colour comes in two forms. It comes in this form, but it also comes in a little block. And we can shave it off with a potato peeler and just put a few little shavings in. But for today and for the demonstration, I just thought it might be easier if we just have a drop. Now, this colour is very, very strong. Now, I just basically don't even... um, I just put one drop. And I didn't even squeeze the squeezer on that. We'll just see what colour it comes. So we'll mix it up. Oh, yeah, you can see that it's gone pink um, and it's still got more to go. See that yeah, out and see the swirls. It's gone really. So that one drop made that, that very, very dark, hot pink colour. Mm. So this is, it'll always look darker in the jug and it dries lighter. Right. So, yeah, you sort of might see that that'll be about half that colour when it yeah. dries. It'll be pinker. Versus that sort of like a crimson-y sort of colour, almost bordering mm. on a red when you look mm. at it here, where it actually goes to be a, a pink. Makes me think of beetroot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's not as deep. It's almost yeah. as deep. It's yeah. water, watery Water beetroot. Yeah. <laughs> if, if there's such colour. Um, so, all right. So now what we do is the colour can go in immediately. So you can play around just whilst you're waiting for it to cool. Like we're sitting at around 80 degrees now so we'll just keep going and you can stir it just to get the air through and cool Mm -hmm, it down mm -hmm. Um, the reason why we cool it down before we add the scent is so that the scent doesn't evaporate out okay so if that was really really hot and I put my scent in it'll It'll just smell fantastic oh well it will (laughs) yeah but 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 not for the life of the candle no yeah that's right it doesn't stay in the candle so we wait for it to cool down a bit and then we'll put our scent in there when it gets to 55 so it's fairly simple. You can see it's a fairly simple process. The only thing is watching the temperature. 
Yeah. As it cools down. So this thermometer that you've got here, so yeah. you can even click on the side. So is this something you've got in your store as well? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah I've got yeah. the thermometers here. Now this yeah. is just a basic food thermometer. Right. I did get it from Campbell Supply Company, but it's just very basic. Um, yeah. And it's glass and it can, the reason I've got it is it's glass and you can just wash it down. Yes. Yeah. yeah. With warm water. So. And you were saying that before, I don't think we were on camera then, that you had uh, the soy um, wax can melt with just warm water. Yeah. 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 You can wash it away. Um, um, obviously, you don't want too much of it going down your drain. Yeah. In case it's set and locked your drain. Yeah. You want that, yeah. I don't yeah. think I'd be too much no. about that. So, usually, what I do is I wipe it out. As soon as yeah. I've poured this, I will wipe it out with a paper towel. So, there's just, just a film yeah. on the jug, and then I can wash it with hot water. And I suppose you could, if you're being thinking of the environment, actually have some sort of container that you're yeah. rinsing into a basin or something like that. So, yeah. as you're washing all your items. That you yeah, you could use a bucket. Yeah. Oh, I've been known to do it, use a bucket and I take one jug, fill it up with warm water and pour it into another to clean two yeah. jugs at the same time and then out into the garden. Yeah. It went, yeah. It doesn't yeah. seem like in the drain. No, it doesn't do anything to the plants. Yeah. So, because I'll put it in the garden. Except, it's soy based, isn't it? Yeah. So it comes from a plant. Yeah. yeah. So, it's, hmm. yeah. Well, I've done both, to be honest, but we won't talk about the sink just in case. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, um, if, if by chance that got below 55 and it started to set, you could microwave it for 30 seconds, but that would be the maximum. Like you wouldn't oh want gosh. to put it in the microwave too long because the jug might up. Oh. Yes. So we don't want to do that. Yeah. So and you then stick sort of, with it. Yeah. Don't, don't yeah, walk just, away. yeah, don't walk away. Yeah. Mm. Um, the idea of the temperature is just purely for the scent. So if you had to do something, you know, and you got to 60, you could possibly put it in. Right. I mean, so, would... Is there, I suppose some people might make it without the scent, but I suppose it's, it's so much yeah, nicer. No, it. Yeah, I've not made it, only by mistake. <laughs> when you forgot. <laughs> when I'm, gosh, oh gosh, we had, um, <laughs> had some little kids in last week and they were doing candle making and one of them had forgotten to put the scent in. Mm. Yeah, so it's just a matter you get so busy and you go, oh, okay, now it's time to pour. And yeah, you've forgotten the scent. Yeah, yeah. So, so you have a range of scents? Yes, I do. Um, today I've got what I've this is one of mine called Country Berry, which is just berry. Mm -hmm. berry. Um, mm -hmm. Just thought we'd bring it because we're doing the pinky colour. I always yeah. try and match the colour to, to the scent. Yeah. To the yeah. scent. Yeah. Yeah. Vanilla yeah. would be white. Vanilla, anything can be any colour. Yes. So it's, you know, whatever your decor is at home. Yeah. So if it's blue, pink, yellow, green, any colour. So you yeah. can make all colours. Um, but, yeah, for me, I just usually try to match that. So I know that berry would be pink. So, mm -hmm. yeah, well, rose is pink, berry is sort of more darker. Right. Colour. Yeah. And rose is yeah. a nice one too. Yeah. Oh, we'll have to do rose next because we've got one called, because <laughs> the shop's called Country Rose, I've got one called Country Rose. As soon as you smell it, everyone comes to the workshops and go, that's rose. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's so. awesome. It's usually, yeah, it's time to stop and smell the rose, isn't it? So yeah. <clears throat> you can bring it into your home. Yeah. So it's, it's beautiful, it just smells lovely. So. Yeah. All right, so now we'll see how we're going with this. Yeah, we're at 75. Right, so it does take a few minutes. So we'll just keep going. It, it may be, you know, five minutes or so that you're stirring, just trying to get the temperature down. So what's the workshops that you offer at Country Rose Studios? Well, I do candle making, mm -hmm. and it's $25, and you'll get a container like this one, and mm -hmm. you get the large container, three tea lights, and the rest will go into these melts, yes. so whatever's left. Yeah. Um, and then I um, also welcome people to bring their own containers as well, because right. sometimes they might have something. I had a lady bring in some pottery mm. the other day, and we filled that up mm. with, with, um, with wax. So it all depends on, you know, whether you want those um, as gifts, you know, yes. so, um, you know, they make a nice gift. You can put a yeah. ribbon around it. Great. I've been collecting, um, we like Makona coffee. So a Makona coffee jar has a lid too. Mm. Yeah, they could recycle yeah. that. Yeah, you could. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, anything That's really, a, yeah. as long as it's glass or, or metal. Mm. Um, yeah, so any jars, like for the little kitties, I had little jars, tiny little, like yeah. uh, baby food jars. So oh, like yes. baby food jars, yeah. Yeah. So, and they made themselves all different colours. So, we had a few jugs going. Uh, nice. and, uh, yes. Yeah. 
they're, they're more creative um, than me, actually. <laughs> and um, like, so we'd have a blue and a purple and a pink, and then they let it set. They pour it in and let it set, and then when it set a little bit, then they pour on the next color and the next color, and they ended up with all stripes. So they were pretty chuffed wow, about that. Yes, yeah. that would be awesome. and they all like the raspberries and the purples, and yes, yeah, they like so, blue too. Yeah, we so had a. Blue, blueberry, is it? Or no, I don't know. We get yeah. blue flavoured. Yeah, I had blueberry muffin as one ah. of the kids' scents last week, and I also had a little boy in, and he'd done Ninja Turtle colours. So he'd done green and orange, and oh, yeah, okay. Ninja, Ninja Turtle. Yeah, I don't know thing. which one's which. No, one. no, I don't. I'm out of touch. <laughs> but yeah, so they were in, and then they went out, and they back in again. <laughs> you think about that. You think how many things come back in? Yes. Yeah. So. Yeah, fantastic. And then the other workshop you do is um, chalk painting. Chalk painting. Yeah. yeah, so that's where you'll get a piece of small piece. It might be a small table, set of drawers. We've got, we've got um, a tray. You've got We're a tray. It now. Yeah. <laughs> we'll show you the tray. And, yeah. yeah, so um, that's an afternoon of four hours on a Saturday. You just start at about mm -hmm. 11. Um, I was starting at noon, but since it's gotten a bit cold, I've just brought it forward to 11. Yes. And uh, 11 until 3, and we'll go out into the yard. It's a good day. I've yeah. also got the back room if it's not a good yeah. day. But um, and people will just paint their piece. Mm. So it takes first coat's about a half an hour. We let it dry. Yes, and then we'll have a demonstration from me, as in the technique. It might be stenciling, or it might be dry brushing, or layering. Yeah. There's all sorts of things. So it's sort of a French style, isn't it? Yeah, the, French yeah. yeah. So um, mm. and then we'll have like I'll do a little demo and show you what to do. Um, in particular with your piece just to add that little bit of flair to it yes. and then we'll do the second coat of paint usually two coats of paint is enough then we'll have a cup of tea a bit of lunch something like lunch yes. and then we'll come back and wax it and then your piece is ready to go home fantastic so 45 dollars you get to update yeah. something yeah recycle renew yeah use all my paints <laughs> all my wax yes and the beauty of that is because I like two-toned, like sometimes the drawers being another colour or, you know, three different coloured drawers. Yeah, or one. the background of something. Yeah. We, we were talking about bookshelves. Yeah. And then taking, you talk about taking the backboard off. And paint and that a whole different colour. Yeah. yeah. Or yeah. even you suggested wallpaper. Or, yeah, you could yeah. wallpaper or hessian. hessian. Like in the ah, shop, yes. I actually put hessian at the back of, um, yes. of that paint shelf. Yeah. Yeah, so when you come and have a look at the paint shelf and look at the back of it, you'll yes. see the hessian. Yes. Yeah, so anything. Um, so you could paint it, um, mm. yeah, or fabric, anything like that. Yeah, and that adds um, a nice contrast, doesn't it? Not yeah, just yeah there's so much you can do um, with the chalk paint. So, but, mm. yeah, anyway, I've had lots of people coming. Some people keep coming back to the workshops because they say if they don't, they won't get it finished. Yes. So they come to me because I'm making finish it. Yes. <laughs> And then you've got that afternoon you're socializing at the same time. Yeah, so it's good fun. Yeah, it's and nice. Yeah. You can see what other people do and that inspires you mm. too because something you might not have thought of doing yourself. Like even I've learned from the yeah, just saying to what, the workshops. What yeah, just people take okay. it the next step. Yeah, such yeah. a good idea. Yeah. So, mm. yeah, it's just up to your own imagination what you can do. Yeah. So I've, I've yeah. painted a vase, I've painted a lampshade. Oh, so you can paint ceramic or yeah, with yeah. the paints. Yeah, yeah. you can. Yeah. So, ah, so there's yeah, that's interesting. Lantern pots. I know Sue Harper's done a um, lantern pot out in the yard. Yes, yeah, big one. Yeah. Okay. So there's lots of things you can do. Mm. That's exciting. Mm. <laughs> there we go with that temperature. All right. I think we probably might put in our mm -hmm. our scent. Normally, I would have a measuring cup, and I've not brought it with me today, so we're so just going to have to go by feel. Yeah, I'll just do use the cap. Yeah, use the cap. So as a general rule, when you're putting in scent, how much scent should you put in? You should put in between 6 and 10%. So for me, this is 300 mils, so I will put 30 yeah, mils. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just going to do three of these and hoping that that's about 10. Yeah. So yeah. I usually put 10% because I like my candles to smell strong. Yes, um, that's an easy yeah. mathematical um, some too. Yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> Just it's take off the than, zero. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's so I said to a lady the other day, it's easy. Just take off. So 300 makes it 30. Yeah. 500 makes yeah. it 50. Yeah, it's just, yeah. 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 Um, just to grab a little tissue. Yeah. You're going to smell like yeah, berry it's now. it's going to be lovely. Lovely little office with beautiful smells. Yeah. Sure. That's like my shop. People <laughs> come in and go, whoa. 
or your smell is candle. Mm, um, yeah. nice. So then you just mix that around. You make sure it's very well mixed. Um, I've had some people ask me, I just mentioned that um, if a candle's melted a bit, can I just add scent to it? I prefer not to because I think it's too concentrated just to, to sit it on the yeah. top. Yeah. yeah, so you'd have to really mix it in. Um, so it it can be done. You could take a little ice cream stick and you could put a little bit of oil and mix it in like that, but I tend to not, it, yeah, no. Yeah. Um, cook it into strife with the... the um, potency of the oil mm. with the wax because mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. you're sort of just burning the oil could smoke um, instead uh, of burn the wax right, yeah. right. So, because it's sitting sort of separate yeah. on top no doubt, yeah. when you're just adding it in so to pour yeah. our candle all we do is just just you want me to hold anything or you're right mm -hmm. you're good, yeah. you're good so we just pour it in okay. I leave a little space at the top so that um, the lid will go on so I sort of uh, pour yes, it up because we've got a bit of a yeah bit of a lip so mm -hmm. now that's it we'll let that now you can see in my jug I've got some left here so I'll make a little bit of else. Oh, and so we're using this yeah one here and we'll just fill it up with what's remaining tilt the camera we can see look at that yeah <laughs> Now, if it's not completely level at the top, don't worry. Um, it'll just sort of level itself out. When I break them out of this mould, any bits that aren't quite square on the edge will come off. So, yeah, it's just like just like chocolate. Yeah, looks like Turkish delight there, actually. Mm. <laughs> it smells a bit like it. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. We need yeah. smell of vision next. They've talked about it for a long time. And then, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was watching a movie yesterday and the fellow was talking to his phone, call Jen, and, um, and the voice response on the phone was coming back and saying something completely different in the end. He ended up <laughs> picking up the phone and he called him Jen himself. <laughs> so voice response is great. Um, <laughs> if it picks up what Jen's just saying. Yes. <laughs> Awesome. Oh, oh yes, we're watching it actually go because we've got a little lean, it's running down, but yeah, that's okay. But it's all, good. all the yeah. wax is already setting, yeah. They don't take long, these ones only because they're so small, only take a few minutes. Mm. Um, just while we've just got that as well, down. I'll just move that across and make sure that my wick is in the center. If my wick isn't in the center, something called tunneling may happen. Now, tunneling you may have seen with some candles. Actually, just burns down the middle ah. and it makes a hollow in the center. Yes, yeah. yeah. Um, it's very important that you actually have the right size wick for your container. If you have a too big a wick, it'll catch on fire and it'll go black. Some people may have seen they've bought a candle before and it goes black, smoky around yeah, the right. edge. That could be the wick is too large. Yeah. And if it tends to tunnel, that means the wick is too small. Okay. So. I mean, we don't have to be perfect. We just have to have it close to centre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, awesome. that Vivian, is candle making. So now Fantastic. what we'll do is we let it set. It'll take about 24 hours for that to cure to be hard. Um, it'll take about two hours to set. It'll look like it's set overnight. It'll cure tomorrow. You should be able to burn that candle. Right. Mm. Awesome. And it just does smell so delicious. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's nice and relaxing to do. It's not hard. Yeah. It's um, and if we do it at your workshop at the Country Rose Studios mm -hmm. in Time Lane in Coonabarabran, you don't have to have anything. You can come along. Come along and create it. I've got the lot. Yeah. Or if you prefer, you've got a container, or even if you've got an old candle dish that you. Which I'm really looking forward to doing a teacup <coughs> and having yeah. that, you know, on on the table as as looking beautiful with its. Lovely yeah. I, I made when I opened up the shop. I made a lot of uh, teacups, yes. candles, and they just sold so quickly. Mm. And I'm finding it hard now to get hold of more teacups. Right, I'll have to do a little garage. I, I know ball. someone who's got a whole lot. Okay. Yeah, that. because they, um, <laughs> yeah, they're very, very popular. Yes. Mm. Yeah. People, yeah. they're just something nice. Yeah. yeah. You can just sit. 
That's, yeah. yeah, and that, like I said earlier, we can reuse them too, that yeah. you know, the repurpose it. So, terrific. Okay, okay. well, thank so, you so much for being my guest. And thank you very much for having me. Fantastic. My pleasure. Have fun <laughs> making candles. Lots of fun. <laughs>